What up? It's your boy Trey Songz. I'm rocking with my homie Stu from Vice Team. Like, you know, he is motherfucking king of Detroit. We're tuning in the Stu show right now. That dude, man, we don't waste cash out rocking with the Stu show. Yo, what up, though? It's Early Mac. And you're now rocking with the Stu show. Yo, what's up? It's Big Greg Bucky Naked. And we tuned into the Stu show. We tuned into the Stu show. What up, though? It's your man, infamous DJ Don Q. And you're rocking with the Stu show. What's going on, man? It's your boy Stu, and it's going down right here on the Stu Show. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch it. So, without further ado, welcome. Weekend recap. So, listen, I had an interview with Control Detroit with a couple people. Doughboys Cash Out, it's Pablo Skywalking, Mila J. First of all, Doughboys Cash Out cut into some rumors. They let y'all know what it was. Pablo Skywalking. I can't understand the word he says, but he has this dope song that I'll be flexing to in the ride. Yo, you in the pants over here. I'm fucking move. Interview with Mila J. She's from LA. You know what I'm saying? A little LA shooter on day. She's talking about her past, her present, what she's doing with her projects, her new singles with Usher. But he didn't talk about her sister's boobs falling out at the concert, the big show at the joke. But that's cool. That's none of my business. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about your sister's boobs falling out at the concert? Big Sean all on. Sean's Big Sean running on them. Make sure you guys check out the links for that. Now, this week, I also got to host a Minus Behavior concert. It was crazy, it was wild. Shout out to DJ, BJ Miss 3525. Shout out to Jacob Lattimore too. He did his thing. Trey Song's exclusive listening session. It was crazy. The thirst was too real. We got to check out his album. We played a couple of tracks. He has some fire, especially the song that he has with Nicki Minaj coming out. I can't tell you anything. I wish I could, but just know, when you get the album, check out the song with Nicki Minaj. His whole album was black and white. And so I had to ask him, why it was. Check it out. The whole black and white theme, what really inspired you to make that the theme of your album? Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 this this not for y'all, this for he, he got audio going. In. Uh, uh, the black and white theme, I just, uh, you know, triggers a, a personality of mine, you know, whereas though this album, whereas though triggers a, a piece of who I am as a whole. Uh, I feel as though there are two sides to every story and sometimes three. Within black and white, you can tell both. Within black and white, you can be uh, conceptually clear, you know what I mean, and cut through the tension of everything that's going on. Uh, not, not to say that I don't like color, but I think black and white brought across the theme of what it was I was trying to do better in this album. Good question. Next, we had the Early Mac, the Buzz, sit down. Now, that was a great event over at the Social Club at Wayne State University. Um, we got to know a little bit more about Early Mac, and I asked him a couple questions. Henry Ford Academy Stop the Violence Tour was also this week. I had a great time. Thanks for inviting me to speak there. Now, from doing this event, it really opened my eyes to seeing that we have to keep it positive. Inspire them with what you do. If you're a singer, inspire them to sing. If you're a dancer, inspire someone to dance. If you are a teacher, inspire them to learn. Whatever you do, inspire. Stop the violence. We can do much better things. We're killing our own. Vezo exclusive listening party. It was quote crazy. First of all, it was at the White House. Man, the songs are cold. My favorite one on there is One Time featuring Cold Clash Black. This week I also shot a video with my man Dre Sconey. It's an R&B track. It's dope. I gotta check it out. It's called My Girl, and the video is dropping this Friday. Oh, for those of you who don't know I do music, check it out. Not that bad. Not so bad. What's good? What it do? What you doing? Who you doing it with? And how she looking? This your man's DJ Lou with this week's song of the week it is Jeremiah featuring YG. Don't tell him. It's for them little songs you do after you get a little mm -hmm with your girl. You know what I'm saying, right? Don't tell him. If you eat, don't tell him. Keep your business to yourself, man. You will get far in life. Topic of the week is Detroit versus Detroit. Why? Because we don't know how to support each other. And it's crazy because everyone knows how to do something. And why we can't come together and use each other to get one big, great, finished product like everybody else around the world? I, it, it's beyond me. We don't understand that we have to put our egos aside to really achieve something. No, we don't have to be friends with everyone to work with everyone. We have to put our talents together and get the money. That's what it's about, folks. Of course, it's about happiness and whatnot, but at the end of the day, we gotta pay these bills. And if you wanna do what you love and pay the bills at the same time, not everyone you work with is gonna be your friend. 
Fellas, you ever wonder what your girlfriend is really doing with her so-called male best friend? Let's take a look. Hey baby, how's work? Good. Um, probably just hanging out with my best friend. Not Stacy, Stu. You know Stu? All right, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Best friend, best friend, what's going on? Oh, I know my man Eddie is loving this. I know he's like, where have you been eating? Selfie? Selfie, yeah. <laughs> Selfie. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the opportunity. And that's a wrap on the first episode of The Stu Show. I want to thank all of you guys for supporting and watching. I had fun. I hope you had fun. And next episode is going to be so much more. So make sure you guys tune in. And remember, be yourself because everybody else is taken. Thanks for watching. See you.